Hey guys, the Union Testnet version 2 launched a few days ago and it is a drastic improvement on version 1 as transactions are now processing a lot quicker. In this video, I'll be showing you how to interact on the Union Testnet version 2. So the first thing to do is to visit the Union version 2 page, which is the app.union.build. You'll find the link in the description. If you didn't participate in the version 1 testnet, the first thing you want to do is to link your socials and wallet to the Union dashboard. To do that, click dashboard and here you have to connect your socials so you can link your Discord, GitHub and Twitter account. After linking your socials, to link your wallet, click the wallet icon and click add wallet. So here you'll be able to add your Cosmos and Evian wallet. Make sure it's the same account you linked on the dashboard that you use to interact on the Union Testnet. To add your wallet, click Add Wallet. To add your EVM wallet, click EVM. Select your preferred wallet and accept the approval request. To add your Cosmos wallet, click Add Wallet. Click Cosmos, click Next and select your preferred Cosmos wallet. Then accept the approval request in your wallet. The next thing to do is to come back here and connect your wallet to the Union Bridge. If you are part of the version 1 testnet, you can start here. Here you connect your EVM and your Cosmos wallet. So click transfer and click connect wallet. For Cosmos, you can select Sleep or Kepler wallet. For this example, I'll be using Kepler. So click Kepler and accept the connection request in your wallet. So once that's connected, you will see this green icon. So click EVM and select your preferred wallet, then accept the connection request. So once it's connected, you will see the green icon on your EVM and Cosmos, so you can close this. The next thing to do is to get test tokens on the chain to be interacting with. So right now we have the Zion testnet, Holesky, Sepolia, Corn testnet, and Babylon testnet. To claim test tokens from these chains, click faucets, and you will see a link to some third party faucets. For the Zion testnet, click Zion testnet, to get your Zion testnet address, open your Kepler wallet and type XION. So here you can see that it's not enabled. To enable your Zion testnet on Kepler wallet, click enable and take the check mark and click save. Now once you search for Zion again in your wallet, you can see your Zion testnet has been enabled and you can copy your Zion testnet address by clicking the copy icon here. So once you visit the Zion testnet for set, Paste your Zion wallet address and select which of these tokens you want to receive. Complete the capture and click continue. Check out the link in the description for Holesky, Sepolia, and Babylon testnet faucets. For the Babylon testnet faucets, you have the hood scan and the Babylon Discord. To get your Babylon testnet address, follow the same step I showed you earlier for the Zion testnet. So open your Kepler, search for BB in the search bar. In this case, I've already enabled my Babylon testnet, but if yours isn't enabled, you will see the option to enable Babylon testnet. So there you can copy your Babylon testnet address. Another way to get your Babylon testnet address is to scroll to the bottom here and click my wallets. On that Cosmos, you will see your Kepler address here. So click the copy icon and you will get your Babylon testnet address. Another way to copy your addresses on the Union Testnet is to visit your Union Dashboard, click the wallet icon, and here you can see your connected wallet. To copy your Union address, click the copy icon beside your Union address. To get your Stargate address, click the copy icon. To get your Stride address, click the copy icon. To get your Celestia address, click the copy icon. And to get your Babylon testnet address, click this copy icon. To get test BB from the Babylon Discord, join the Discord server. When you open the link for the Babylon faucet, you will see the Babylon Discord server link. So join the Babylon Discord with the link. Once you've joined the Discord, look for the faucet test baby channel and use the command exclamation mark faucet followed by your Babylon testnet address. Then hit enter and you get some T-Baby. You can also get test baby from the hood scan for set. One more testnet token to get is the wrapped ETH on Sepolia and Holesky. 
To get your wrapped head for Huleski, visit this link. You'll find the link in the description. Once you load, make sure you are on the right contract tab and connect your wallet by clicking connect to Web3. Click OK and select Metamax. If this is your first time visiting this page, you will need to accept a connection request in your wallet. So if it prompts a request, accept it. Here you'll be depositing your Huleski head to get wrapped head. So make sure you have Huleski head in your wallet. If you don't have, check out the Huleski faucet I've showed you earlier. So in this case, I have some Huleski head. To mint your wrapped head, click deposit. And in this text box, enter the amount of Huleski head you want to deposit to get wrapped head. Once you've entered the amount of Huleski head you want to deposit, click right and accept the request in your wallet. So once you do that, you will get some wrapped head in your Huleski wallet. To see the wrapped head in your wallet, click transfer, click select, choose Huleski, and here you can see the wrapped head you have. You can also import the wrapped head to your Huleski wallet using the contact address in this link here. you find the link in the description. So this is the contract address for the wrapped head on Huleski, and this is the contract address for the wrapped head on Sepolia. To get your wrapped head on Sepolia, visit this link. You'll find the link in the description. Once it loads completely, make sure you are on the right contract tab. Next thing to do is to connect your wallet by clicking connect to Web3. Click OK and select Metamax. If this is your first time, you will need to accept a signature request in your wallet. Once your wallet is connected, you will need to deposit Sepolia Earth to get wrapped Earth. So make sure you have some Sepolia Earth in your wallet. If you don't, use the faucet in the link I've showed you earlier to get some Earth. So to deposit your Sepolia Earth, click Deposit. And here you enter the amount of Sepolia Earth you want to wrap. Once you've entered the amount of Sepolia Earth you want to wrap, click Right and accept the approval request. So once you do this, you get the equivalent amount of earth you deposited as wrapped earth on Sepolia, and you can start bridging on union with it. So now that we've gotten as much test tokens as possible, we can start bridging on union testnet. So to bridge, go back to your union DAP, click transfer, select the source chain. In this case, I'll be bridging from Zion testnet. Select the token you want to bridge. In this case, I'll be bridging USDC. Click the drop down menu to select your destination chain and enter the amount of the token you want to bridge. Wait for a few seconds. And once it shows transfer ready, click the button, click submit and accept the approval request in your wallet. Okay, once the transaction is complete, it will look like this. So you can click new transfer and you can continue to make more swaps. So there are quests on version two. So you can start completing quests to end XP on your dashboard. To see your quest, click dashboard. And here you can see all the tasks that are required to end XP. Check out the ones you can complete and start completing them. More chains will be added in the future. So you can have more options to interact with the Union Testnet. So that's it about the Union Testnet version 2 for now. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any issues ask for help in the comments or in my telegram group the link to the group is in the description join my telegram channel for more union testnet updates crypto adverbs tips and tutorials check out the bonus section of this video description for more testnet you can join and sign up on as many as possible so keep interacting on Union Testnet, earning your achievements, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.